Hi everyone, welcome back. I have another skincare reaction video for you and I'm really pumped about this one. I feel like it's one that all of you need to see because this is Soniqua Martin-Green. If you don't know who that is, she's currently in the Star Trek series, which I have not watched. But what I know her for is The Walking Dead. And I realize The Walking Dead now who knows what the heck is going on with it, and I definitely have fallen off. But I did watch the show at its peak because my husband forced it on me, and I'll tell you why. Like a side note kind of story, I have this irrational fear of a zombie apocalypse. You know, watching something like The Walking Dead is really frightening to me. But Sonequa's character, Sasha, that was her name, really stood out to me as just a badass woman. All the people on the show obviously go through a lot of tragedy. It's all about these people who come out better or, or like on top and are a force to deal with. And her character, Sasha, is one of those people. She becomes a sniper for the team. I don't want to give you a spoiler alert, but you should have, if you're a Walking Dead fan, you should have already watched the episode. But the way she kind of goes out is really on her own terms. And I appreciate that about her character so much. Other than that though, I actually hate the show <laughs> because I just cannot stand zombies. But my husband is a big fan and he has watched every single season from day one. Anyway, but back to Sonequa. I'm really excited to see her skincare routine. She is about 35 years old, according to Google, which is closer to my age. So I appreciate seeing somebody who, you know, was pro someone who's gonna probably take their skincare routine really serious. Before I get into this, this is on Harper's Bazaar. You know, I love the Go To Bed With Me series. I'll leave a link below in the description box so you can watch the original video if you want to, but let's get into it. Hey there, it's Sonequa Martin-Green. <sighs> Let's get ready to go to bed. What do you say? <laughs> so they're using like more more upbeat music for this one. I like it. I love her voice. I actually forgot how beautiful her voice is, and it just goes with the vibe. It's like setting the tone of what I hope is going to be a beautiful skincare routine. I'm really excited about it. Oh, here we are. I have washed my hands, I have brushed my teeth. It's time to get started. And I'm gonna put these on because I cannot stand when the water drips down your arms. I, I can't stand it. it. It feels so gross to me, it always has. And I got the wacky idea to use wristbands and it keeps it from happening, it's amazing. I used to approach skincare from. She watches YouTube because I remember seeing, gosh, who was it that used wristbands in their skincare routine? And I was like, <sighs> if I figure out who it was that uses the wristbands in her skincare routine, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can watch it. It was a popular YouTuber and I cannot think of who it was that did it. At first when Sonequa pulled them out, I was like, oh my God, is she gonna be like, is she gonna do something like this with her face and rub it or something with sponges? What is this? The wristbands. It's a YouTube tip. Um, a, uh, an obligatory kind of burdened place. I would dread it even. And because of that, there would be many times where I would just skip it, I would avoid it. I um, recently, in the last couple of years, decided to change that. And I, I realized that I really needed to engage in my skincare. I used this time to languish, you know? It's also a nice moment that I um, have with my husband a lot of times. It'll be the time where we really get together at the end of the day, you know. Let's get into the skincare. <laughs> Let's get into the regimen. How about that? Okay, so the first thing. Sonequa, I love that you're talking about this. This is something that I've been trying to drive home lately is that your skincare is self-care. It doesn't matter if it's a long routine or a short one. It's all about how it makes you feel. It gets you in a mood. It's a vibe, you're creating the vibe. I love that you share this time with your husband. Before I had my second child, this was also the time that my husband and I would be in the bathroom and we'd be like, you know, I'm like at my sink, brushing my teeth and stuff, getting ready to do my skincare routine and he'd be over on his side and that's when he would like casually ask me questions about his skincare routine. I think that it's always important to point this stuff out. What I'm gonna do is oil cleanse. Um, I firmly believe in the double cleanse, and so I start with an oil cleanse, and I use Dermalogica pre-cleanse. That's it right there. So I have super oily skin. So oily, y'all. So oily. And it was acne prone when I was younger. I realize now 
that it was because I just, you know, I wasn't taking care of it. Moisturizer, like what was that? I didn't use moisturizer. <laughs> and I was not eating well. Most of the time, it was two kinds of food. It was soul food and fast food, okay? And so my already oily skin was going crazy. And I'm gonna tell you something and don't judge me, but this, this is gonna let you know what was really going on. But when I was a kid, um, there were times where I would look down and see that my, my elbows and my knees were ashy. I would, I would straight up like schluck off, schluck, okay. I just made that word up, but we gonna go with it. I would schluck off the oil from my forehead and put it on my elbows and my knees. That's crazy. <laughs> and that's gross. I, I found proactive when I was in college, which was, which was great for the time. I think she's really setting the tone of how oily her skin was or how oily her skin can be. And she's telling us that that's her skin type. And what I appreciate about her really giving us a good idea of how oily her skin is, is that she's telling us about this while she is using an oil-based cleanser as her first cleanse. Because the thing that I hear, and I see people comment all the time like, oh, Susan's talking as a person that has dry or combination skin, not as a person who actually understands oily skin. And I completely understand that. I do not have oily skin. But when you have oily skin, you can also use an oil-based cleanser. And in some ways, it's going to help you because oil breaks down oil and all of the other grind that you have on your face. So starting with an oil-based cleanser could be life-changing. It's all about finding the right cleanser. I love this one from Dermalogica. It was one of the first oil-based cleansers that I ever used. And because they, they named it very correctly, pre-cleanse, it was much easier to understand where to put it in my skincare routine at the time. Anyway, let's finish watching this. I'll probably have more to say about it, but I'm super pumped to know that she takes the double cleanse seriously. It makes my day. I'm gonna deep down inside hope that Sonequa has watched me just like I have watched her on television. Maybe she's watched me on the on the YouTubes. So <laughs> let, me, let me let her finish. Um, but then I stumbled across Dermalogica um, once I got married and we actually uh, went on this skincare journey together, um, my husband and I. And so Dermalogica completely changed the identity of my skin. But it, what it really was is that I was just finally taking care of my skin and using quality products, right? So I'm going to go over my eyes and I'm not going to open my eyes again because otherwise... I'm going to interrupt her again and it's only because she had mentioned how she had found Proactive and then she eventually found Dermalogica and then she went on this journey with her skin. The first part about Proactive, I actually see this question often, I don't know if I've answered it before, but do they have good products or do they have bad products? My whole thought about Proactive and why I think it was genius is because it teaches a lot of teenagers how to have a skincare routine. That is almost 100% the genius of Proactive, is that it teaches people, usually a teenager, somebody who's just getting started in skincare, who doesn't have somebody else maybe to help lead the way for them, like a mom who really knows skincare or a dad that knows skincare. Instead, they're being given this system by Proactive, and it does have ingredients that are gonna help with their acne, but what it's really teaching them is how to have a skincare routine, a proper three-step, four-step skincare routine, and that's the genius of Proactive. But then you start to realize that some of the ingredients are really harsh, it can be a little strong to use on a regular basis. Once you get rid of the acne, what do you move on to. So I love that she found, you know, a big girl line and that was Dermalogica, which I think has some wonderful skincare products. And like I said, I love the pre-cleanse. They might get a little irritated. And the great thing is that I love this because it, um, the way it emulsifies, it's just so lovely. Was this video meant to be like, we're gonna become besties after this? Cause you're saying all of the right words. If this was a first date, I'd be like, you and I are gonna be besties forever. Emulsify. She loves when it emulsifies. I do too. It's my favorite. It's one of my favorite things. And I'm gonna keep my eyes closed. <laughs> Usually it's quick. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna tap my eyes dry and not dry anything else because I'm going right into my next cleanser, which is the Ultra Calming Cleanser from Dermalogica. I realized that I needed a, a, a really gentle cleanser after the oil, and just because my skin is sensitive. So this is a nice gel and it's, it's quite velvety. So again, I'm gonna be very gentle. 
and uh, not keep it on my skin for very long. Oh, the brows, the brows are gone. <laughs> Too much plucking when I was a teenager. I know it's a lot of folk story. I like to be very slow because I go, 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 go. I go all the time and I'm a quite high energy person. I have to force myself to slow down, like slow down, Sonequa. So. Now I'm just gonna pat. I love these cloths. I just I just found out about them. They're from, they're from a company called Clear Skin Club. I used to use a microfiber towel um, right here, actually. But this company is really cool. It's 100% organic, 100% biodegradable. But what really got me was in the in um, in their advertisements, they were talking about the bacteria that sits on your towels and just breeds and I was like <laughs> and then they really got me because um, on the website it says that they um, for every order they plant a tree so I said okay I'm using y'all so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go I went to go look at the clean skin club towels and the reason I'm interested in them is because there is something to be said about the bacteria that your towels definitely grow. Like you're supposed to technically wash your towels every single time you use them before you touch your face with them again because they do grow bacteria so quickly. And especially if you're acne prone, that can be something that really makes it just continue on and it creates a cycle. You know, like when it comes to microfiber towels, I really love them as far as a way to like dry your face or remove your cleanser or something. I don't like them on their own. I feel like there's still too much tugging if you're just using water with them, but they are very soft and they can be very nice way to dry your face because they are so soft and so absorbent but they definitely can grow bacteria as well. So this is an interesting concept to me because of the bacterial growth. On the flip side of that though, now that I'm looking at the link for them and you know checking out their page, it, they're first off, they call themselves a makeup removing wipe. I know, I know. Not as bad as the wipes that sit in a packet of liquid with lots of strong preservatives and other stuff that you're gonna you know leave on your skin potentially, but it looks like in the reviews, I, I did like a little bit of a deep dive and it looks like in the reviews, people definitely use them to remove their makeup, but more so like kind of like a cotton pad. So I guess in a lot of ways, they'd be more so like used with like your micellar water or something like that. But that means that they are a one-time use product. And I have a little bit of a hard time with that. I know she said they're biodegradable. I know she said that they are organic, but when you actually take like a really good look at that kind of stuff, it's really hard to be sustainable if it's a one-time use product. It just is, even if it's biodegradable, because even products that are biodegradable still take years to actually break down in the earth and actually be something that disappears into the earth. So it's still a problem when they are disposable, one-time use. I don't like to get on my like soapbox about sustainability and everything because I do always feel very conflicted that I am in the beauty industry and we contribute a lot to harming the planet really when it comes down to in the environment. But I do believe in trying to give back in some other way. And so I do love that they do plant a tree. It's something actually that my own company, my skincare company does, is we plant a tree with a percentage of our revenue. Whenever people purchase, they know that they can also feel good about the fact that we're going to help plant trees around the world. And that is helpful. It's not the same exact thing, but it helps to kind of offset a little bit of the damage that we're doing to the environment. You know, there are a lot of other ways to try to be a little bit more sustainable and eco-friendly for sure. And I appreciate any effort to do that. But this one's a little bit, it's a little bit hard to wrap my head around. Does it mean I'm not gonna try them? <sighs> I'm curious about them, so of course I'm gonna try them because I wanna use them the way that Sonequa is using them. And that's what really caught my attention is that using it to dry her face instead of a dirty towel or a towel that can build that bacteria, that's the part that really interests me. As soon as I clicked on their page and saw that they advertise as a makeup wipe, I was like, womp womp. So I'm a little bit conflicted. I'm gonna sit here for the rest of the video a little bit conflicted about my interest in them with the Biosance uh, Squalane and Hyaluronic Mist. Because what I want in my nighttime routine is hydration. Hydration, 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 and moisture, of course. Um, and some anti-aging stuff too. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of spritzes 
but I'm telling you, I, I have to because it's, it's super, it's a super fine mist. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you my next step because since it does dissolve so quickly, I, I like to go directly in with my next step, which is the, um, the COSRX uh, Snail Mucin Essence. And we'll talk about it in a second because it's a... Uh, quite a thing, this uh, snail music. All right, so here we go. Two pumps, look at that. I didn't really learn um, a ton of skincare tricks and, and stuff from, uh, from my mom or my dad. <laughs> Although I did learn the necessity of exfoliation from my mom. Uh, she used to use these pads, these buffer pads, and I used to love uh, like sneaking in and like in, using, using her, her buff pads. This is gonna sound strange, but I don't like to- First off, love that mist from Biosance. It's a really nice one. I love squalane. I think it's a wonderful oil. It helps to replenish your skin. A lot of people don't realize there are differences between the, the oils that are used in skincare and squalane is really great for your skin, for all skin types, even people with oily skin, because it helps to replenish it and it's an emollient. I don't want to get into the details of that because it can get confusing, but it's not going to be this really thick, occlusive oil that you have to use to lock in stuff. So you'll see it in products even like this mist where it's going to be nice and light. I love that she also just gave us a heads up that she wants her skin to feel nice and hydrated and misted like that. And she's going to go right on in with her Snail Mucin by uh, CauseRx, which I'm telling you, I swear, I think Sonequa is like watching all of our videos. I think she's in my private Facebook group because people are talking about all of this stuff that she's talking about, she's right on it. But that's exactly the way you wanna do it. Whenever you see somebody pull out the spray mist at the very end of their skincare routine, it's the wrong way to use a spray mist. You're not supposed to do it like that. You're not getting the benefits that you need. You want the hydration, and then you wanna put something like your snail mucin on, on top of that. People ask about this snail mucin. What is the point of it? On the most simple level, it is, think of it kind of like a hyaluronic acid serum. And if you are a person who is oily and dehydrated, it's gonna make your skin feel nicer. If you are a person with dry skin, it's still gonna make your skin feel a lot more hydrated, especially if you go and lock it all in with your moisturizer. The thing with snail mucin is it has so many other benefits. And one of those benefits is to brighten your skin. It's antibacterial and it protects your skin. It's very skin strengthening. If you think about what snail mucin is, if you think too much about it, it might gross you out. If you think about what it's doing for a snail is it's protecting them, right? It's protecting them from everything on the outside because they're delicate little creatures. Another thing that people don't realize is that snail mucin has been used in skincare products for a very long time. It just became popular because of Korean products like this, but it's been used in European products. It's been used in American products. It's just sometimes under a different name where people just don't even realize it, but it has a lot of nice benefits for the skin and it's been used for a very long time. People even say things like it helps with any kind of scars, like acne scars, and it helps with, even if you have like, uh, dermatitis and stuff. There are a lot of skin soothing and healing properties to it, brightening properties to it. It's just a really all around nice ingredient. And at the very least, it's a humectant. So the order that she applied this was perfection. To exfoliate at night. I like to exfoliate in the day. I can't do the physical exfoliants. My skin is just, it just don't, it's, mm -mm. I have to do the chemical exfoliants and it has to be gentle at that. But I like to do it in the day because it makes my skin feel energized. What I'm gonna do now. She also pointed out, you know, that she didn't learn skincare from her mom. And I hear this so often. I feel like, you know, we look at our moms, my mom included. My mom introduced me to skincare, but it was very basic. She took me to the Clinique counter when I was 12 and they put me on the three step system. And that was it. It's kind of like proactive, right? It's like, it just got me on a system and it, it taught me to have a skincare routine, even if it was a simple one. But then it's like, okay, so what do you do from there? But I hear from so many people, even women that are older than me, and they're like, nobody taught me how to have a skincare routine. And it makes me so sad when I hear that because that's what makes it such a journey then. But you know, at the same time, it's learning and trying that helps us really appreciate our skincare routines. I love that she's you know, acknowledging, like my skin just can't handle that. My skin doesn't like this. My skin, what I like for my skin, you know, and how it makes her skin feel. Because it's just also pointing out that skincare is very personal and what works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another person. But I like to exfoliate my skin in the morning when I use a chemical exfoliator. I actually at this point use some really gentle 
chemical exfoliants at night as well. But you know, like when I'm really focused on exfoliating my skin, I use it during the day. I like a good AHA or BHA, glycolic acid, lactic acid, something like that in the morning. And that's just because I feel like it's a, a good place to get my, my skincare routine started. It helps prep my skin for all of my other skincare products. Because my skin is exfoliated, everything is going to you know, penetrate my skin better and deeper. And I just feel like it's a very nice place to keep it in my skincare routine, so. I like that she's acknowledging it. Um, after that essence is this Neod multimolecular hyaluronic complex. Because hydration is what I'm looking for, I want to get all of that in there and then lock it in. <laughs> so I just had a baby. And so I had a very minimal routine while I was pregnant, especially in the last trimester. I would straight up just, you know, a lot of times I would just use Bioderma micellar water and then throw an oil on there or throw a quick like moisturizer. My skin was quite glowy and whatnot from, from being pregnant. And so now that I um, am coming back to a more extensive routine, I am missing retinol and retinoids. I was using um, that very, very amazing <laughs> uh, ingredient earlier uh, before I got pregnant and then I had to stop because of course it's not pregnancy safe and it's not even nursing safe either. A retinol is so important in an anti-aging uh, routine um, and it's, it's like the champions. If I were to rate them, it would be like sunscreen, hyaluronic acid, retinol, <laughs> and the snail mucin is um, really fascinating to me because um, that's also something that I, I just found. I have a lot of respect for Korean skincare. In general, I appreciate uh, where nature meets science with skincare. With the snail mucin, you know, Cosrx, they're very, uh, of course it's cruelty free, but they put the snails in such a comfortable environment and it's this nice dark room and the snails just walk across this mesh and the, and the mucin that they leave behind uh, is harvested, which um, I think is dope. Um, so my last- I first off did not know that she had just had a baby. There was somebody that commented not too long ago being like, we get it, you've been pregnant, you have kids, whatever. We just wanna stop hearing about that. Well, besides the fact that I just am obsessed with my children, I probably will never stop talking about them because that would be something big in my life and not talking about that. But when it comes to your beauty routine in general, not just your skincare routine, your hair, your makeup, how you get yourself ready, but mostly your skincare routine, all of that changes completely when you get pregnant and it really dawns on you. You're like, wow, I, I need probably the most help I've ever needed because I'm going through all these hormonal changes and my skin is changing, my hair is changing, everything's changing. And then I'm limited in what I can use. Like she said, she had to stop using retinol. You can't use any retinoids. You can't use a lot of these skin brightening ingredients. So it's funny I, to, to have somebody say like, oh, quit talking about it. No, to tell someone, a woman, to stop talking about how their pregnancy and having kids has affected their skin is, is kind of like telling somebody who has dealt with acne to stop talking about the fact that they used to deal with acne. It's like, this was my journey. This taught me so much about my skin. And you can see whenever you hear other women talk about this, they learn so much about their skin. I will say, I wish I would have known more about azelaic acid as an ingredient while I was pregnant. It wasn't until, you know, towards the end of my last pregnancy that I started to really understand that azelaic acid should be the go-to ingredient for pregnant women and breastfeeding women. And I'll tell you why. I was all about Bacuchiol. And don't get me wrong, I don't think it's a terrible ingredient, but you know, it was being marketed as a retinol alternative. And you know, it was kind of like my go-to to replace my retinol, but it just wasn't as strong. And I've said this in videos, it wasn't as strong, but it was better than nothing. And I wish that I would have realized how great azelaic acid is. Azelaic acid is great for redness in your skin. It helps to brighten your skin. It helps if you have acne in your dealing with acne, it even helps with your oil production and everything. It's even wonderful at just exfoliating your skin in general. So that brightening that you need when you are pregnant, if you're dealing with melasma. So it's just this all around amazing ingredient for women who are pregnant. And I feel like it's not advertised as that. Everybody try to sell us on Bakuchiol, but I'm telling you right now, go find azelaic acid. That said, 
retinol is kind of king in your skincare routine. It's all about that sunscreen and it's all about retinol. So sunscreen during the day, if there's one product that I want you to have in your morning skincare routine, sunscreen. If there's one product I want you to have, one ingredient in your nighttime routine, retinol. Step with my dry face. <laughs> is um, this Elemis Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. There it is. Now, I love it. It's a lovely occlusive. It's so um, thick and luxurious and velvety. I really do feel, I feel like I can feel the oxygenation. Um, I know it has a Mediterranean algae in it. And I finally take something down to my chest. I know it's all one thing, right? Now. That's a wonderful moisturizer. It is really thick and luxurious. It has wonderful ingredients in it. I used to love this and feel super fancy while I was using it. It's a little bit pricey. A lot of Elemis products might be considered a little pricey to people, but I do love some Elemis products. That is definitely one of them. I love that she acknowledged bringing it down. I had noticed that earlier and then I forgot to say that. The one thing I would point out is that Elemis does use fragrance in their skincare products, so if that bothers you, I would skip it. Otherwise, this is a good moisturizer. Not quite done yet. Done with like the products on the skin. But now what I'm gonna do is exfoliate my lips. So y'all, my lips are so dry all the time, like no matter what I do, no matter how much water I drink, uh, I could drink a gallon a day and the lips are still dry. So yeah, I use this scrub. It's from Handmade Heroes. Um, it's the uh, ultra sexy scrub. So I take this lip exfoliating brush and just get a little bit of the scrub and take it across my lips. And I gotta do it, I gotta do it neatly. Cause I don't want to get in the way of the yummy, the yummy stuff on the skin around my lips, right? So I just, and then I go in little bitty circles. You know, another thing that I don't do at night that I do during the day, which might seem backwards, is an eye cream. I don't think an eye cream is is just like necessary, but I like to use the ones that have like. Um, uh, waking up the properties, <laughs> you know, that energize and, and, and brighten and depuff and all that good stuff because um, that's always super helpful when you're getting up, you know, before the sun to work. Okay, so now that I've done that. Sonequa, we're friends, right? Like you've been, wa have you watched some of my videos? Are we gonna be best buddies? DM me, we'll talk skincare all day. You're doing everything that I absolutely love. I too like eye cream in the morning. It's like we're same, same. I love it. This lip scrub, it's great. I love that she's acknowledging because I know a lot of people out there, even like when people say that they brush their teeth after their skincare routine, they're like, they just did their skincare routine. So she's acknowledging I'm not gonna mess up everything that I've worked on and done for this face. A scrub on your lips, not a big deal. This is one of the only times that I'd be like, coconut oil's not that big a deal here. It's just like, you can eat coconut oil. I use coconut oil in some of my foods and stuff. You're just gonna get on your lips. And I love that she's using a gentle little, it looks like a silicone scrubby for her lips. If your lips are really, really dry and they're always flaky, then you definitely should consider exfoliating them. People don't really think about this, but just like you would exfoliate your skin, if you're getting dry, flaky skin, you need to exfoliate it, then apply all of your hydrators and your moisturizers, otherwise they can't penetrate. They're just, they're just moisturizing the dry, flaky skin, but never getting down to the bottom layer, so you're creating that cycle. So when you have the same issue happening with your lips where they're dry and flaky all the time, exfoliating them can be very beneficial, and then you go in with, hopefully, a really nice lip balm. So let's see. I'm gonna take another one of those handy dandy biodegradable cloths and I'm gonna wipe it off. Mm. Oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> and now I'm gonna use this uh, lip mask from Laneige. Now I feel like I could do this all day, rubbing it in. I just sit here like, 
So now... She said Laneige, right? So she's officially a better skincare influencer than I am because I have said it wrong so many times that somebody at Laneige actually messaged me and was like, it's pronounced Laneige. Laneige, Susan. It's just Laneige, not Laneige. I don't, now I can't even, now that I know how to say it, now I can't even say it the wrong way that I was saying it, but it is pronounced Laneige. And I love the lip sleeping mask too, by the way. It's so good. Last thing, I could take these off. Okay, so now this last thing is I've got, I've got my jade roller here. It was soaking in ice water. And I'm gonna get in some, some facial massage and a little lymphatic drainage. Yes, I am. And this is really the moment in the regimen when I can relax and languish and and pray, honestly, it's good prayer time for me. Yeah, so I go to the I go to the temple drainage points first, and then I go down to the to the ones that are here. Mmm, it feels so good. And then turn it over. Oh. And I'm just gonna come and take this down. Hmm. That's it. Cause I, I could I could keep going, but we're gonna stop there. Now the absolute last thing that I you can have nice lymphatic drainage and you don't need anything fancy. A nice little jade roller. She's got all her skincare on, so she's got that slip. Perfection. And I felt that. Just she she creates the vibe, you guys. It's the vibe. I do. So I just hit my hair. Um, I use this Carol's Daughter uh, Almond Milk Leave-In Conditioner, Black-Owned Company. I have a lot of Black-Owned hair products, and I'm always, always in the market for more Black-Owned uh, products across the board. And so I just spritz my hair with this. Just get a little moisture before bed. Since it is so short, I don't, I don't wrap it anymore. I just, you know, the silk pillowcase does the trick. And just rub it in, rub it through, rub it through. And that's it. That's it. This was so much fun. It was so much fun hanging out going through my nighttime regimen this was a lovely moment right thank you for engaging with me and i hope you have a good night's sleep you're probably going to get more sleep than i will um that's all car <laughs> it's more it's it's more than worth it it's more than worth it one day i'll sleep again but i am going to go get in bed at least because it's late so i hope you have a good night I really think that we could be best friends. So if you want to give me a call, I'm not gonna leave that in the description box, but I am available via DM. And I actually think I'm gonna DM her myself because I wanna be besties with her. It's just, we've just got so many parallels. You know what I wanna point out? This was a perfect, perfect skincare routine. Obviously she didn't have a retinoid in there. She gave her reason why. She already acknowledges that she needs her retinoid and everything, but she just had a baby. She's breastfeeding. She can't use it right now, but she would. Other than that, this was perfection. And the video doesn't even have, as of now, 40,000 views as I'm reviewing it. This is a video that we should be sharing everybody. If you are a real skincare lover, obviously if you're one of those people that hates fragrance with a passion, you might say that the LMS product wasn't good. But other than that, this is a perfect skincare routine. And this is the kind of skincare routine that should have millions and millions of views. So I encourage all of you to share this video so everyone can see how perfect her skincare routine is. It's what we should be watching. This is what we should want to see. I know it doesn't create all this like drama and reaction, funny and stuff to see like people messing up their skincare routines, but we should also be praising and acknowledging and sharing skincare routines when they are this much 
perfection. You know, the other thing I want to point out before I, before I end the video, I know I had nothing bad to say, it's an amazing skincare routine, she's perfection, is that I want to point out to all of you, people with oily skin, look at what she just did. She just did the same kind of skincare routine I would have done. And I'm a person that says I have more like normal to dry skin. And what I'm sensing from her is that she's, she's going more towards normal skin too and not oily. And the reason I wanna point that out is because when your skin is extremely oily, when your skin is extremely dry, when you're dealing with like two extreme opposites of your skin and you have like dry skin here and really oily skin here, sometimes it's all about finding the right skincare routine for yourself to just balance your skin out. And then suddenly, these types of products, an oil-based cleanser, an occlusive moisturizer, using more than one layer of some kind of a humectant, sometimes that actually ends up being great for your skin because then you've balanced everything. That's just, that's really what it comes down to is being gentle with your skin, balancing it, and giving it the things that it needs. When you have oily skin, you tend to be dehydrated. So she acknowledged that she wants to get all that hydration in her skin. So it's all about finding the right products. And then suddenly, products that you think might be meant for more of a dry skin type or an oily skin type, suddenly these products are just meant for your skin, period. So that was Sonequa Martin-Green. I'm so pumped that I got to see her nighttime skincare routine. I'd love to see a redo after she's done breastfeeding and everything. I hope that she gets some sleep. I think that'll change a lot of stuff too. I'm just, just starting to get sleep, sort of. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you have any questions. I don't really think there are any questions. I mean, it's just perfection. Just share this video. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.